Hi, I'm Monica Niebauer, and you're going to meet my husband, Mark, who actually is the artist and architect of our Ram ProMaster Van Camper Conversion. It's a 1500 ProMaster Van, 136 wheelbase. So come on in, let's take a look. You can see starting off with our window right here. This can open, and so we put the windows. I'm going to say we did things. I did not do really anything he did so just so you know we may say I may say we but it was really he okay so this let's start with here with the floor um, he's gonna do a more detailed video of some technical stuff that you can look at separate but he put that pink stuff under it and this is a vinyl flooring with this nice trim right here and normally we have a little stool there but we forgot it Oh, my handle I could have used my handle to get in there it is okay so this come on into our kitchen <laughs> So we have a sink right here and that's the cutting board that you can use that goes right on top and it's a pump faucet there and under here are the two water one is the fresh water and the other is for gray water and you can see there's extra room there watch this he bought these really nice soft serve ca um, cabinet doors and so then here we have for our trip boom our hand sanitizer as long as well as our soap in here is where we have it's not there now, but we have a cassette toilet that goes in there. So we have water and we have the toilet, and those are the things that make it um, self-sufficient. Nice countertop. And the drawers, we have these little things to keep it from opening when you're driving. You have to really pay attention to that. Uh, you don't want to have projectiles when you're driving. So two drawers, and then he built three of these cabinets. And so we've got these things, and here's a feature that he did that I want to show you that he's really excited about look here in this so these are things we travel with and he created this that same pink stuff that's in the floor because things rattle in in the um, camper and we don't like them to rattle so this is really tight although we did find that if it's too heavy things could come out so you're always tweaking it once you get started how do you improve it and Mark's been working on that a lot okay oh before we head on in swivel chair so we have this extra chair right here and uh, it sits up a little high, so we're, we're kind of, the jury's out as to if we love it or not, but it creates more seating space. But you're going to see in a minute, we actually have a lot of seating space. Um, come over here and take a look at this. Uh, this is the refrigerator. Some of you might have been saying, where's the refrigerator in your kitchen? Right here. It's a top open refrigerator because cold air is heavy and we don't want it to come out. So this, doing it like a cooler is actually more efficient because we have a battery electrical. Okay, um, you wanna go around the back now and then we'll do that that way. All right, so here we are, we're coming in the back. Look at these. Homemade curtains look just, live just like a gypsy. I love that Airstream song by Miranda Lambert. And so we have these curtains and their magnets are holding them up. Isn't that a great idea? Love that. And love the colors and they match the olive cushions here. So you can see it's a high top and um, Mark, my husband, is six feet tall and so he can stand in here with an inch or two to spare. Now the cushions, where did we order the cushions from? Uh, foam by mail. Foam by mail and we actually got really really firm ones first and they were a little too firm so then he got a smaller one that was firm and we put a little topper on it so he had to kind of recoup that but they did the um the covers on it as well so the nice olive color there and then we got the curtains to match now you saw the little clip on the drawers at the front so here's a little different opener um right here because there's another drawer see how it's got the propane in it and things like that all right let me show you a couple cool things this these two are not just um, kind of doors, if you will. They, you know, keep things in there. But these are both two twin, about twin. They're, you know, about 25 inches wide. And we can sleep, when we take this cushion out, we can sleep on these separate. Or we can take this table and these two, and they fit right here, and it makes a king size bed, almost a king size bed. So these are, see how they're in? And you have storage in there. So those can come off and they lay down right here to make the bed. Let me show you this table. This is so fun. See how it moves? Cool, it moves, you can move it around however you need to get up or get around. 
You can make it go up or down for like a work height. You can make it fit over here like a counter. I mean, you have to take the cushion off for it to fit around. But see how it moves? It's fantastic. And when we took our big trip recently, I had one of these cabinet sections and Mark had the other cabinet section. And then we had our own things. And actually, if it was night, you could see the lights better. There they are, and there's a fan. And they're all operated by a battery. We can show down here, we have a really nice large battery right there that powers the lights and the fan and some other lights. I don't think we'll be able to see them up there. Um, and the refrigerator. We do have an air conditioner, but the air conditioner will sit up there and the air conditioner only works with what's called shore power is when you can plug it into electrical at your campsite. But the rest of it all runs off the battery, which of course uh, lasts shorter period of time the more you use it. Uh, all right, got some little shelves. I think we store our bedding up here. I mean, just so many great little, this has been such a fun van to have, and I'm so grateful. And thanks for joining us today, and I'll put a link to the more detailed van if you're interested in the specs and some of those things. I'm going to go through that with Mark. Now, I'm going to turn the camera around real quick and show you Mark, have him say hi. Whoopsie. Hi. <laughs> the artist and creator, Mark Neubauer. All right. Thanks for joining us.